All right, we're out here at one of our beehives that we put in a location that wasn't ideal. In fact, we, ha we had it over here. And in the winter, it got no sun, and I knew they were going to freeze. So we moved it a little more than eight feet, which is more than you should, and we lost them anyway. And here you can see all the dead bees that were now taken out of the hive. The good news is there's hundreds of pounds of honey. You can see that. And so we're cleaning up this uh, box um, for next year. So do you want to put that back in there? And I, I'll pass this off to you. So a lot of people will think that this kind of uh, a find is a total loss, but it's not because you have, we're collecting the beeswax over here so that we can use it in candles or, or whatever we want to use it in there. The extra beeswax as we clean this up and we have all this honey still in here. Now, we're not going to harvest a frame like this as we clean it up. And you can see that this is all nectar that's capped. What we're going to do is leave it in here for the next uh, bee colony that we're going to pick up in May. Crossing our fingers that we can do that. And so we're just going to clean up these frames. And with our new colony, it's going to give them a huge jump start. Now look at all that. Look at all these dead bees. Oh my. And so that's typical of bees freezing to death. They'll, they'll cluster together to stay warm. And it all came on very quickly here in this hive. It was probably just one night. We had some really, we had a really cold fall. The coldest part of our year was in October. And then we had a, you know, relatively mild winter. So here's a few tips. I'm just pulling bees out of these cells here as I'm cleaning it up. A lot of you might be totally grossed out by this. But a couple things I wanna uh, bring to your attention in this video is that a lot of times mold will develop in these situations because as soon as the bees die, mold starts growing. And I really was hoping I could show you some mold. Of course, that's never the way. Um, let me look in this part, Alan, for some mold. And actually, here we have mold that was on the honey. So this, all this honey is now mold covered. And many people will be like, oh, well, can I eat that? That's nasty. Now, the, the type of mold that grew on this honey is a type of penicillin. So it's completely safe to eat this mold. And the honey. Honey never goes bad and honey never molds. The mold formed on top of the wax in the hive. And you can see here all the moisture here, Alan. That's not honey, that's moisture. That's water. So that's why the mold formed in here. It, fo it forms on the bee bodies. Now, this is not a loss. This is like about five pounds of honey in here that's moldy. But what I'm gonna do is put it into one of these hives after I clean this off to give my uh, new bee package a jump start. They're gonna clean this mold off in a second. They're gonna use it to their advantage. They're gonna clean up all the honey and they're gonna put it, repackage it. It's gonna save a lot of time. They don't have to collect the nectar and do all that work. So if you have a moldy frame from a dead colony, it, do not bleach it. I've heard ridiculous stories. People get freaked out, they clean this all out, throw it away. Do not do that. This is completely safe. It's safe for you to eat the honey, but if you're a beekeeper, I would just reuse this for the next colony. And that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, before we go, let's just take a little peek further here. It's like a lottery. We don't even know what's going on in here. And take a look at the, the amount of honey in this hive. So all of these frames. Now that's a gorgeous one that we can just harvest right now and Alan and I can just be in heaven. So we'll probably get at that a little bit when, we, when we're done the video. But all of these frames. So we have tons of honey here and we have to do this now before all the bees flying around here steal all the honey. So we're gonna clean the frames put it in dry storage in a cool spot, and in about four weeks, uh, put this hive in a new location. Alan, you can show them. It's over, right over here where the um, that juniper's pruned up. <coughs> and that spot's way better because it gets full sun all winter, whereas this spot is already in the shade. So I hope you got something out of the video. Take a look at this. We have even more honey we got over here. 
So a, a lost hive is not a loss. This this colony costs us 140 bucks. We probably have 140 dollars worth of honey here sitting here, um, but we're going to reuse it for a new colony that we put in a better place. Sometimes you make mistakes, but you need to learn from them. I hope you got something out of the video. Honey's free, even when your colony dies. And you can't get free honey unless you uh, become a beekeeper. So try beekeeping. It might be too late for you to buy bee packages this year. But follow the channel and watch our progress as we continue. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.